Okay, so we want to put up some examples of the Smithsonian um, talking about whiteness and white culture. It says it puts too much of an emphasis on individualism, hard work, objectivity, the nuclear family, progress, respect for authority, delayed gratification, and more. Um, Charlie, it says, you know, those are themes that uh, white culture has uh, accepted as the ones to pursue. And because of that, it's become the dominant culture for the entire country. I'm not so sure they're saying that it's negative, uh, but they're certainly pointing out that it's something that is about whiteness. What do you make of this? Well, I think it's incredibly racist and divisive to try to attribute things that are applicable to all human beings by a specific race. I mean, you look at the Black History Museum, of which this was the page on their website. Conveniently, they don't have Clarence Thomas as part of their museum, which is just very interesting because he happens to be one of the few conservative black individuals that are outspoken in today's, you know, today's times. And you look at the, this pamphlet, and they, it's a complete and total misrepresentation. For example, hard work, delayed gratification, the scientific method. You look throughout history. How about George Washington Carver, a black individual who discovered the peanut, one of the most incredible scientists in, in world history, if not American history. I think he believed in the scientific method. I don't think that was a construct of whiteness. Delayed gratification. How about Michael Jordan, who was probably one of the hardest working athletes of the last couple decades. I think he believed in delayed gratification, those extra nights he put in to have an incredible sports career, probably one of the best in, in NBA history, if not the best. Finally, how about Oprah Winfrey, a multi-billionaire woman who, of course, believed in hard work, rugged individualism, pulling herself up by the bootstraps. All these things are supposed to be a construct of whiteness. If this is even a conversation in our country, this is divisive. This is designed to turn people against each other. And it's anti-history. It's anti-science. I am repulsed that our taxpayer dollars are funding this nonsense and this garbage. Well, uh, one of the reactions on Twitter uh, was this, defeat white culture by being lazy, intolerant, and hasty. This has to be a 4chan op, right? This is so racist, referring to this stuff at the um, Smithsonian, this is so racist to people of color, I don't even know where to start. Uh, what do you make of it, Leslie? Well, first of all, I find it interesting that Charlie mentioned Oprah Winfrey and Michael Jordan, because they're two people that have been, as of late, very outspoken regarding the Black Lives Matter movement, which, as we know, is a movement not just by blacks or people of color, but by whites as well, who are crying out regarding racial injustice. Now, as a white woman, did I ever have difficulty in my life? Absolutely. Did I ever have to work really hard? Absolutely. Do I remember my mother having to use food stamps? Absolutely. The difference is that when I wake up in the morning, or Charlie for that matter, being a Caucasian male, we don't have to think about our race added into all those elements of our daily life. Oprah Winfrey had to, and still does. Michael Jordan, any person of color does. So the difference is, a white person, and this is what white privilege is about, a white person doesn't have to take their color into consideration when they do things, when they make choices, when they go for a job interview, for example, when the blue lights go uh, off in uh, their rear uh, view mirror. Uh, and, and certainly uh, people of color do. So you know, I, I think it's very valid when you look at all of the information there oh, in that gosh. museum regarding this uh, and you look at it within context and you look at its entirety and not just pieces okay. of it. Um, um, I, I don't find Charlie it racist. I, I find it reality. Charlie, so is the context of what is being presented here important? Well, look, Leslie, I have to be honest, I always consider it to be very reasonable. I, not anymore, after what you just said. I mean, for, for you to try to say that what is being presented here should be attributed to any sort of you, racial I find group it is incredibly you know racist. Hold on, I let you, you judge I, me I, I let you finish, Guys, I let on, you finish we, your nonsense. Yeah, let me we'll finish my facts. Time. Because, we'll give you, because we'll if, give you we even, time, if we even, if we... If we even entertain this incredibly pernicious idea that hard work, the family, the scientific method, going to church and doing the right thing is an attribute of a skin color, then you are the racist. OK, you're the one that is trying to advance racial division. I believe in the American ethos. E pluribus unum, out of many one. I don't think this is a white attribute or a black attribute. I think this is a human being okay. success flourishing attribute. I cannot believe okay. that someone would defend something like this. Yeah. Okay, let me give you, Leslie, a quick final word here. 
I, I think it's actually disgusting that you would form an opinion of me or anyone, uh, whether positive or negative, based on one thing that they say uh, versus numerous things they've said uh, over the years. One, two, I'm offended that, you know, you would call me a racist. I think if anybody looks at my family portrait, that's laughable. And then in addition to that, I also think it's terrible that we white people uh, claim uh, to know the struggle of any person of color. I certainly don't. I can't speak to that. And I do believe that the museum is. Okay. All right. I do think you all agree on many important things. Clearly not this. So we'll leave it there. Leslie and Charlie, <laughs> both, please come back soon. Thank you. Thanks.